Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to give you guys a quick update on my experience with the Sony Xperia Tablet S. So I haven't spent enough time with this tablet yet to give you guys a full review, but I can certainly tell you what I think of it thus far. And so far, I am pretty impressed. Sony's taken a great tablet in the original uh, Tablet S and just built upon it in every single regard. So for those of you who missed the unboxing, let me catch you up. You're looking at the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi version of this tablet. It's priced at $399.99. You can also pick it up in 32 and 64 gig varieties, priced at five and $600 respectively. The rest of the spec sheet reads as follows. You're looking at a 9.4 inch display, uh, the same size as the original Tablet S. Uh, however, IPS display now, still incorporating Sony's True Black technology, it really just is a far superior display in my mind. That's not to say that the original Tablet S didn't have a good screen. This one is just better. Also, you've got splash proofing on here. Uh, not a necessity, but certainly uh, a nicety is what I would say. As far as the balance of the specs, it just all improves as you go down. Let's start with the processor. You've got a Tegra 3 quad-core processor, which even though it's not the newest, you know, latest chip on the block, it certainly is the benchmark, the standard for the industry still to this day. So good performance on the processor side of things. Everything has been smooth. Ice cream sandwich out of the box. Jelly bean is promised. Quite a bit of skinning by Sony, but uh, nonetheless, it's because after all, the first Tablet S was a media consumption device. This moves a little bit more towards being a blend of consumption and productivity. Uh, as far as the balance, we've got a gig of RAM, Wi-Fi, BGNN connectivity, which, by the way, the Wi-Fi chipset has been stellar so far. GPS and Bluetooth, both no issues at all. So really a complete product out of the box. Uh, the sleeper functionality, in my mind, that really makes this tablet a winner so far in my limited amount of time with it is the infrared blaster. They've really taken that concept, you know, that's also available on the Galaxy Note 10.1, but they've taken it to a whole nother level, which I'll get to in my full review. Uh, but with that said, uh, I pretty much have covered everything. The stereo speakers are really powerful. They're located at the bottom of the tablet, so that's also a really good improvement. Overall, the tablet has gotten lighter, uh, better build quality than the original Tablet S. Cameras have also improved. You've got the one megapixel front-facing one I just pointed out, as well as the eight megapixel camera on the back, which is definitely a big step up from the original Tablet S and most tablets on the market. This is really one of the better cameras I've seen on a tablet, even though I don't really... Uh, you know, focus on cameras, as many of you know, uh, when it comes to tablets. I focus on cameras for camera functionality. But um, overall, really like this tablet. Again, build quality really good. Let me go ahead and just jump online and show you guys some web browsing. As you can see, Sony has built in some quick shortcuts to everyday things you're going to use, as well as, you know, little other shortcut uh, app drawers. This is part of, you know, making it a complete product, quick access to the infrared remote um, function, and you can, you know, pretty much drag that around. So multitasking has been built, built in, something you will find with the Galaxy Note 10.1. There it's been certainly flushed out a little bit more. But let's go ahead and jump on the browser. Go ahead and close that. And you'll just, you'll see the Wi-Fi performance immediately because I am nowhere near uh, my router. And if we go ahead and just browse to Engadget, you'll see the speed. Now, there is no question I've noticed it does have to, it takes a little bit uh, of time to render. We're still, you know, still not done loading. It just finished now. But you can see as I scroll, it still does take a moment or two in order to catch up and render. Now, I'm not sure if, the, I believe this is going to be something that Sony can address on the software side of things because I've been through just about every Tegra 3 based device on the market and this is not something they all suffer from. Clearly, there is quite a bit of skinning going on here. Uh, it is not a stock ICS experience, so I'm gonna have to assume this can be addressed in software, but otherwise, everything's really smooth. Uh, pinch to zoom works really, really well and and I have absolutely no complaints about flash playback, you know, flash performance. And again, those speakers are a really nice complement to the entire experience. So like the display, like the web browsing, not in love with this inability to keep up with the uh, flick to scroll, but I, I really believe that's something that can be uh, addressed down the road. Uh, as far as outside of web browsing, media consumption, Sony does give you a $45 credit in the Play Store to buy movies. A smart move in my mind, uh, very similar to the Nexus 7 deal where you, know, you were given a $25 credit in the App Store. Here it is limited to movies, but that's because after all, Sony makes movies. They're a media company. It makes sense. So, you know, 
as you can see, they've incorporated their Walkman for uh, all playback of music, which happens to be a nice software suite, something I'll get into in the full review. The movies uh, are there as well. They're unlimited movies, uh, service, the video unlimited, the music unlimited. They want to sell you all of those things the same way Amazon and Apple want to sell you their services. The key difference here is Sony is actually a media company, so we understand why they're doing it. So, uh, you know, really impressed so far with this Xperia Tablet S. Like that it comes in at the $400 price point. I like the build quality. Uh, no backlight bleed on this display. I, as I mentioned before, the infrared functionality is fantastic if you're, you know, an amateur. Uh, you know, not an amateur, but if you are an enthusiast of, uh, you know, home theater systems and want a high-end remote, this is going to blow your mind, in my opinion. And I haven't even been going to really review it in depth, but from what I've seen so far, it's just, you know, a great complement to any home theater, let alone it's also a really solid tablet. So again, web browsing performance good, battery life, Sony says 10 hours. Uh, in my experience, you're looking at more like seven to eight, but I haven't put it through enough cycles to give you guys uh, a final word on that. Big improvement, as I mentioned before, is that full-size SD card slot. You can now use that for storage expansion. So before you run out and purchase the 64 gig, uh, do keep in mind uh, that you do have that full-size SD card slot. And I think it supports 128 gig cards, but don't quote me on that. There's certainly no reason why it wouldn't. Uh, since they are in the marketplace now and affordable at this point. They're getting there. So really like this tablet. Everything works well. It is a complete product out of the box. I have noticed some bugs like you guys saw with the rendering uh, of the web browsing. However, overall, this is one of the more polished, well-built tablets that you'll find. And uh, I just look forward to giving you guys you know, a final review where I can pretty much cover everything and really uh, give you a final conclusion on whether or not this tablet can hang with the big boys even at its lower $400 uh, price point, uh, which is certainly, in my mind, it does make it attractive. And it does have a whole host of accessories using that multi-port uh, dock down there at the bottom, uh, from stands to uh, you know flip keyboard cases, which are actually on sale now as well. Uh, if you pick up, I believe if you purchase this through Sony directly right now through the end of the month, they're offering a $50 discount on the keyboard uh, case, which is a pretty unique uh, accessory in my mind, something that a lot of you will find uh, a good addition to this tablet if you're interested in productivity and actually being able to uh, type and have it you know, incorporated directly into the case. Anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.